Hello and welcome back to Frugal Gamer. Today we're going to be talking about how you can cut down transportation costs. The first one is going to be biking and or walking. I think this is a no-brainer, but um, a lot of you out there, a lot of people out there heavily rely on their vehicles. Now, when you are heavily relying on your vehicle, that means you are probably somebody who will drive to the liquor store right down the street. You're also probably somebody who will, when in a parking lot with a strip mall, you will get in your car and you will drive to the other end of the parking lot just so that you're closer to the store that you originally went there for. The problem with that is you are spending more money on gas that way. Simply walk over there. <coughs> simply walk over there. If it is somewhere that's a little bit out there, if it's too far or it's too large of a walking distance, get a bike. A bike is less complex, it's easier to fix, there are less components, it's <clears throat> still going to help you with medical bills down the road, it's still going to help you feel more energized because you're working out. You're still improving yourself even when you're biking, but the problem with cars is that you end up spending this large amount of money so that you can save however much time and I mean yes it's a good thing to save as much time as possible but it's also crucial for your survival that you are not spending a third of your money on transportation costs alone which according to TFD is actually pretty accurate because they according to them it's 14% to 30% of your income that goes towards transportation costs. And you can definitely lower that by biking or walking. Um, number two is scheduling when you go places. Scheduling when you go places allows you to have a more idealistic plan for when you, for where you are going at what times in the day. For example, I go to five different stores. I go to Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, Fresh Choice, and then I also go to Walgreens. Dollar General and Dollar Tree are not too far apart. So if I'm going to go shopping at Dollar Tree, I might as well swing by Dollar General as well and grab whatever I need from there. Or if I'm going to Fresh Choice, which is literally right next to Family Dollar, I can be grabbing some milk and whatever produce that I need at Fresh Choice, and then I will go next door to <clears throat> Family Dollar to grab a whole bunch of frozen veggies and lotion and, you know, whatever I need. So that's one other way that you can cut down on transportation costs. The third one is keeping your car clean, both the interior and the exterior. Let me tell you why this saves money. Because a lot of people don't realize this and I have yet to see somebody touch up on it. When you clean your exterior of your car, your the paint, on your car is less likely to erode. Now that may be a good thing where, for you depending on where you're living. For example if you live in Oakland, California it might be a good thing that your paint job is eroding. Or even if you live in Detroit, Michigan. But if you are in a better city for example, if you live in Westland, Michigan rather than Detroit, or if you live in Sacramento, California rather than Oakland, California, 
you should be making sure that your exterior looks nice and it's clean just for the fact that you're not going to have to keep paying for paint jobs. On top of that, you should be cleaning your interior because your interior is what's supposed to be protecting you. When you are on the road, you are actually more likely to die than if you were to be on a plane or a train or taking pretty much any other form of transportation. You are more likely to die if you are directly onto the road. So keeping your interior clean is very important just so that the interior doesn't erode or wear. For example, if your seats are beginning to get some wear and tear on them, you're going to have to replace them for the sake of having that cushion in case there's a car crash. If you have children, you should be focusing on this a lot. <clears throat> um, so yeah, making sure that these things are clean is very important when it comes to saving your money because it could, when you clean stuff, it actually lasts quite a bit longer as long as you're cleaning it properly. <clears throat> So that's one of the things that you could be cutting down on. But uh, another one, the fourth one, is actually going to be carpooling. If you, <clears throat> if you are headed to a party and you and your buddy are both going over there and one of you has a minivan and then the other one has like a... Um, a small little Volkswagen, take the minivan, grab whatever gifts there are, grab up your friend, and then you guys can go there. You guys are, he's, your buddy is saving on transportation costs. And what that means is that he's likely going to help you out when you need a ride somewhere when your car is down or you need... <clears throat> Or you need to get over here and there's some kind of problem with you getting over there. Whatever the case may be, you could be carpooling and saving money on stuff. And you could be potentially putting yourself in a better position because if something were to happen, you have witnesses to help you out and say, hey, he was good the whole time. Or the fifth one is actually going to be riding the bus. Riding the bus is one of those things where it's kind of iffy and it really depends on your situation. If riding the bus is a good thing or not. If taking the bus, if simply taking the bus would be cheaper than what you would have to spend on gas just to get to where you're going do that don't just sit there and get in your car and then drive over there no take the bus if that means that you are saving money take the freaking bus i know a lot of people don't like public transportation i get it i don't like it either that's why i walk everywhere but for those of you who heavily rely on vehicles, the bus is a great way to save money if it is along the first bus route. If you only have to pay $125 rather than paying the $250 or the $2 for gas, then why don't you just pay the $125 and then... You save on gas. <clears throat> you are saving 75 cents. If you can do that every single time, that could be... That could be like three bucks at the end of the month. Which is eventually going to save you even more with more time. But anyways, that is all for my rant. Those were the five ways that you can cut transportation costs. 
If you liked the video, go ahead and let me know. Any feedback that you may have, any corrections that you may have, or anything like that, go ahead and let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.